Hi, my name is Orlando Wang, and this is my project Zombie Shootout. I am from Norfolk's Public School. I am in year six. So first, you can see that you can shoot zombies with your gun, and you can collect materials. If you have enough materials, you can create different walls, such as this one. This one only lasts for 5 seconds. You can make bigger ones like this one, which lasts for like 10 seconds. And up here you can see the zombies you killed. Those zombies have 2 HP which you need to hit twice. When you have 20 zombies killed, you, have, you can battle the general zombie. So when you touch a zombie, you get gamed over. And if you get 20 kills, you can battle this general zombie, which is this one. There are different colors, which matches the, um, the boss zombie, which is rainbow. And you can see that when I kill the general zombie, you, I have one more kill for the general zombies. When you reach five kills for general zombies, they can first the boss. See, here's the boss, the rainbow color boss. And the boss unleashed a lot of um, minions, which allows it to help to, it to battle you. And you can collect different uh, weapons when you reach different waves. For example, this one, which is an auto gun. It fires, but uh, it fires web, uh, bullets automatically. And then you can collect this one. This one is not automatic gun, but shoots landmines. Each landmine lasts for two seconds. And then you can use it to battle the boss zombie, I mean general zombie, and you can collect this weapon, which is the best weapon in the game. It shoots out bullets and fires it out in a straight line. So this is my game. So here are the uh, different uh, sprites. There's, there are the different uh, sprites, such as a, a bucket zombie, which is the one which have 2 HP. And this is the code. So basically this is the part where it spawns the zombies. And this is the part which when it spawns at, as a clone, it's, um, that's what it does. So you have 2 HP. This is the first HP. This is the second HP. This is the night zombie. You have 3 HP. So you have 1 part, 2 part, 3 part. Shield zombie, 4 HP, 4 parts, 1 part, 2 part, 3 part, 4, and it repeats for a general zombie. 1 part, 2 part, 3 part, 4 part, 5 parts. And for the boss zombie, you have 1 part, 2 part, 3 part, 4 part, 5 part, 6 part, 7 part, 8 part, 9 part, and 10 parts. For the boss zombie, in the middle, it sh heals over here and it heals all the way back to full HP and for normal zombies this is the code so uh, 
basically this is where uh the it tells it tells how much zombies to spawn per round. Here it, it knows how to when it touches zombie. Here it, it works out how much zombies to spawn. This is the materials. It can be picked up by those zombies. It spawns and it can be collected by the fighter. It's the same for guns and lucky box. For the wars, when you collect a certain number of materials, you can, it knows how much materials you have. And if you click one for the first war, then you collect, uh, then it spawns a war. Same for those other wars. And if you see that uh, the best war lasts for 60 seconds, and then it looks like this. Lucky boxes give you three different things, such as changing materials by 200, healing your base HP by 25, and set your zombie kills to 20, which spawns a general zombie. And then you can see your base, which if it's touched by a zombie, it takes the amount of HP off. And the boss zombie, when you're about to kill it, it spawns the back, black spikes to uh, battle you. And then at the end, if you lose or win, uh, if you show it, this will appear. This one's when you lose, this one's when you win. Thank you.